Hopefully we're all starting to get into full swing now that it's 2018 and that includes getting our finances in order. Back to help us do that is wealth strategist and tax attorney Rebecca Walser. Welcome back to the show, Rebecca. Thank you, Natalie. And apparently welcome back to Tampa. Yes, thank you. Yes, <laughs> in New York, first part of the year launching the book. So really excited. It's been doing really great, getting a lot of great exposure and we're really excited about it. So let's revisit the launch of the book. Yes. What can people look forward to reading about in there? Yes. How can it kind of help people's lives? You know, the, the thing I love about it, which if, I actually have gotten a lot of feedback that says it's really a different type of approach to a financial book. Right. It just is common sense to me. Uh, the way America retires, really since the 80s, is building wealth in a pre-tax account. Mm -hmm. So when you're going to look at pre-tax account, you have to step back at a macroeconomic level and say, what does future tax rates look like? Mm -hmm. And in order to really project, project what future tax rates look like, we have to look at what is going on in America in 2018. And in 2018 America, pre-tax wealth building looks really unattractive because what you're basically saying when you build that pre-tax bucket in a 401k or an IRA or a SEP or something like that, a 403b, mm -hmm. is you're saying, I expect tax rates in the future to be higher, therefore I will defer, or lower, I will defer paying tax now and I'll pay tax later when I retire and I'll pay less later. But the truth is we're actually, and especially with these tax reforms that were just passed at the end of last year, we're actually in the one of the lowest periods of taxation in the history of our country. So why why would you not pay the tax now and then when all the boomers retire and when our debt and interest are come due, why would you pay the tax later? Because you say that the tax rates will eventually have to go up, essentially, I right? establish in the book, and I you have letters in there from, from the Congressional Budget Office where they say in 2008 that basically both taxes must go up and the benefits that we're going to pay Social Security and Medicare must go down. Those both have to happen. So it's not even me saying it. It's the government saying it in their own, on their own letterhead. It's in the book. And it's a, it's a new way of thinking. Like you said, people have been crediting you with that because it's definitely different from the conventional methods yes. we've heard about. Yes. And I hear you're taking this message on the road. Rebecca's yes. on tour. Yes, yes. Uh, next month we'll be basically in California for like, uh, we're going to be in LA, San Francisco, San Diego. I mean, we're just, we're, we have so many people that are interested in this message and, and getting how is it different for me. And then of course now the Californians have lost their property tax deduction mm -hmm. and their income tax, state income tax deduction that they used to have. It's limited ten thousand dollars so now these people are even in more need of you know tax advice and tax strategy and that's what my practice does you know once the, someone's making a certain level of income or higher we start really doing some tax mitigation strategy to reduce taxable income so we are we do have a tax tour 2018 and um, we've just gotten back to Tampa and now we'll be in California then we're gonna be in Texas and it's, it's gonna be great and I know, Rebecca, you like to look at individuals, you know, based on their own situations. And so there's no kind of broad advice. But with your book, with being able to break this down, what do you hope people take away? There's three main points. And I'm so glad that you said, let's just be succinct about it. Number one, you need to start earlier and you need to do more than 10%. 10% is never going to get you the quality of life and retirement that you deserve or you want. So 10% is not enough and you need to start as early as possible. In your 20s would be great. Number two, you cannot have all of your eggs and the market basket because the market is now volatile, super high highs followed by extreme low lows and it will crash. So you need to have a market presence, but not everything can be in the market. We have to deal with volatility. And number three, make sure you're doing a tax diversification strategy. Don't put everything in pre-tax. It's going to be a problem later on. Oh, well, if you're interested in learning more about this, of course, you can go ahead and get Rebecca's book, catch her on tour as she's got her tour dates coming to be. And also, you can go ahead and call Rebecca or even visit her website, walserwealth.com. Thank you for coming in. Thanks, Best Natalie. of luck on Thank your travels. Thank you so much.